Hello guys, here with a little cool app called Wi-Fi Transfer Pro. This is the Pro version. Uh, there is a free version. The only difference between the free and the Pro version is that the free version only lets you to upload um, files no larger than 4 megabytes to your phone, from your computer to your phone. That's the only limitation, but you can go ahead and try it out for free so that, that way you can learn how to use it. Um, but this one is it's paid. This is the pro version and it's only one dollar and forty cents and it's amazing It works flawlessly. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead to settings so you guys can see uh, You're gonna see this setting honestly don't mess with it. I didn't mess with it So don't mess with the settings um, here you could if you have if you're having problems connecting or you um, need to learn how to use a little bit more or frequently ask questions you could click on one of those and over here you go ahead and quit the app uh, for the way it works is it's very easy it works transferring files between your browser and your phone it connects your phone to your PC or Mac or Linux computer using the browser and I'll show you how it works all you gotta do is press start when you press start it's gonna tell you okay you can now access your files from your phone files on your phone by typing the following IP address to your computer browser so all you gotta do is use the browser any browser it works with um, Internet Explorer I'm using Chrome it works with Firefox it doesn't matter like you see over here it's already there the same address so I could go ahead and click OK and right now we'll go ahead and click next there you go and like you see there I can see it's like a file manager but on my computer on my browser okay like you see over here you can see the battery percentage of battery life you can also see the space available on that memory card right now I only have 897 megabytes um, you can also see the network I'm connected to the Wi-Fi and over here like you see right there is tr file transfer files to device I could transfer files to the device and over here if I switch like you see over here you see two SD card if I click over here on the other SD card you're gonna see that this over here changes now I got 14.618 gigabytes free and same battery level and everything and like you see over here you can see all the folders uh, once you connect once you connect with the computer you don't need to mess with film you could just put your phone away and that's it uh, the only way you stop the only way you stop the, the the communication the transfer is by for example let's go ahead open it up it's gonna be open it's clicking stop once you click stop it will automatically disable the connection between you and the, your device but if you just go like that and put it to the side you could go ahead and work over here on your phone you can see everything perfectly and for example I could go ahead right now so I could show you guys the main features that a lot of people ask me is how to transfer files from my Mac or from my PC to 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 my uh, phone especially Mac because Mac it does, um, Android doesn't work that good with Mac but this will absolutely let you add anything to your phone so for example if I want to go over here and add something um, here I got a couple videos let me see these are videos Hello, like you see right there iPhone, no. uh, these are to make uh, apps video tutorials to make apps so for example let me see the size of the video 21.9 megabyte and this one let me see this one is 32 megabytes so let's go ahead and add this one the 32 megabyte but like I said you can't there's no limit with the pro version there's no limit it could be one gigabyte a one gigabyte movie and it will transfer it easily to the, the of course it's gonna take longer but I've noticed that the transfer speed is pretty fast I noticed it's pretty fast so right now like you see right there is uploaded and yes you could select more than one uh, file at the time at a time you could go ahead and select uh, um, pressing pressing the control button and tab I think it is uh, you could add more uh, more files at the same time so now let's go ahead and press upload and like you see over here it's uploading and you can see the mega the status by megabytes 
11, 13 megabytes, 16 megabytes, 17 megabytes, 19 megabytes, 21, 23 megabytes, 24. Look at that. Pretty fast. That is amazing. That was pretty fast. So now if I go over here, let's go to the phone. Let's go to my files, right? To the file manager that comes free with your phone. So here you got the option external or SD card. I put it in the external if I'm not mistaken. And here it is, Rupee. Okay, let me go ahead. Hello friends, welcome back to iPhone right. iPad tutorials. Perfectly, 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 perfectly. And go ahead and keep on adding files if I want um, I also can add files from my from my phone over here so like you see over here you can see that already in my SD card the photos over here I can see photos that are in my SD card like you see right there these are photos that are on my SD card so right now I could go ahead and copy folders um, let me put this a little bit smaller and here next to every single file every single folder you got options over here you got download delete rename copy and you can convert these files or folders into zip as well so for example let me see i want to download this and i want to download that i could either do that and click download and click download like you see over here and now it should be open over there in my computer now so now the files are in my computer. Let me see, show in folder, and there it is. Both of my files are in my computer. Very, very easily. And very easily, very simple. It works with any computer, PC, uh, Mac, Linux, and even with your tablet. I even tested it with my um, iPad mini and my Nexus device. But um, one thing that I noticed, you can't upload more than one file, at least at me. It didn't let me upload more than one file at a time. And some videos wouldn't work. But I guess, I think it was because of the format. I was, um, the only video I had available on my tablet was a, a .mov uh, format video. And it didn't play. It didn't recognize it. It did upload it, but it didn't recognize it. So... And like you see right there, for me, it's very awesome. If you got a folder, you can even upload music. If you got a folder full of music, right now I don't have music here because this computer is totally new and look at that, empty. And I haven't um, transferred all my music here and all my music, I keep it in the cloud. Very simple video because it's a very simple app, I'm telling you guys. Very simple to use, very easy to use. Uh, you can always bookmark this so that way uh, you don't have to enter it every single time and all you gotta do is when you connect the phone just press just press um, um, a refresh and that's it and to disconnect let's go ahead here again and disconnect like you see right there it's always gonna be in your notification so go ahead click that and click stop and that's it once you click stop and you click refresh here, boom, it cannot connect. If I click start, boom, now I click start, like you see right there, I can go ahead and put it in the background. And if I click refresh, boom, back again, very, very easily. So guys, this was a look at Wi-Fi wi File Transfer Pro for Android device. Totally, this is a must have if you are one of those people that um, do a lot of rooting and you know what sometimes we download our, our ROMs to the computer because on the phone is a little bit messed up if it sometimes it gets a little messed up and you can use that for that too you could easily connect your phone just like I did right there and you can transfer some, some ROMs are like 300 400 um, even 500 um, um, megabytes you could easily transfer that so it's very very good so guys I hope you guys like the video Till next time.